welcome back to my channel so I've got some extra diamond plate left over and uh, we're attempting to make a toolbox here's the lid I already cut it uh, the reason why I'm making a toolbox rather than buying one I've been online and I've seen toolboxes upwards of three four hundred dollars and anything cheaper made out of aluminum for a couple hundred so I thought you know what we've got some diamond plate let's go ahead and try to make a toolbox now I don't have an, uh, a bender, so what I've done is I've scored the metal, I've marked it, scored it, and we're making a 12 by 12 by 12, and then we've got the cap, and I've got some extra material to, uh, to cap the sides of it. Be able to score it like that, really? No. No, I wouldn't. Okay, let me cut it off. Here, hold on. Try, try now. Right here. Cut it right here. Try now. Hang on, hang on.
Well, I welded a brace just to keep this corner square because I'm getting a good square here, but this corner is out. So I'm going to push that corner in, check the square, and uh, get it as close as possible. So it, it, it's out quite a bit. around. You never know when you need it. got 12 and let's go from the inside. 12 and a quarter and 12 and just under a quarter. And bring this in a little more. And this one here.
These are good. Get yourself a few of these, they come in handy. I get mine on Amazon. right there. This is still a little out. So I'm going to readjust this side. Twelve on this side, on the inside, and twelve and an eighth. Once I reinforce the inside, put the cap on, the sides on, it should fix it up a little more, bring it in, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. So uh, let's go from there. Now I've cut the lid, which is right here. I'm going to throw some hinges on it, and this is basically an undermount toolbox for my flatbed. So open and close, I'll have a lock on it and I'll be able to access things like my grinder. So I end up actually using the lid to cut me two 12 by 12 sides so I could cap the sides of it and that should keep it structurally square. And I actually have a piece of diamond plate over there in that corner that we'll cut a new lid out of. Then the other side. Two. There you go. 
That's how it's going to get capped. So we're going to start with tacking this in and uh, tacking the other side in. I'm going to clamp it just to tighten it a little bit and I'm going to give it a couple tacks on the outside. Guys, always remember, I know I was just tacking without wearing a helmet, which is extremely dangerous. Try to always wear your helmet when welding. Uh, I'm just doing it for the sake of this video, but safety is very important. Tacks. That should hold the side of the box in place. Let's see if I can better position this camera. Let's take you over to this side. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Now we're going to come over to this side. And we're going to drop that sucker in and we're going to get it all tacked up. Guys, if you're wondering why my table is so short, it's because we have a new table coming in. We're making a video for that. We're just getting the parts ready. So stay tuned for that video next. This was my old welding table. That wasn't really square enough, at least not for my liking. So uh, there is a video where you can see where we use like some scrap metal to put this thing together. And uh, it's just not square enough, so we're making a heavy duty table. The material square, that's half the battle.
just take that brace out. You don't need it. You need to clamp it once this is in. Should hold it in place. Get our clamp. Okay guys, I'm going to start welding this thing up. One side, and we'll do all four sides. ventilation system.
Okay, so we've got the box turned sideways. We're just going to go in there and I'm going to do the welds to the bottom of the box. might be wondering why is he welding it all the way around? You know, is it not going to make it twist and bend? Uh, there is a possibility it could twist and bend a little bit, but considering I got the square corners in, I can't see it bending too much because all the heat is on the corners, not the center. Um, also, I welded it fully because I'm trying to keep it watertight. So I am going to be applying a little bit of like a silicone something just over top of the welds in case there is a pinhole. Uh, it is hard to get the gun in there trying to get a clean weld. But uh, let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so that's what the welds look like on the inside. You know, I've done better, but... Uh, it is difficult trying to get in there. I had to actually tap that off when the camera was off because I actually missed the spot right there. But uh, that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start thinking about the cap. I wanna put some flanges on it uh, just to keep everything watertight, but I don't know if that's gonna work. The box is right now upright. I don't want it that way. It's actually gonna be down. So when I open the box, I'll be opening it like this from under my truck. Now I've got my trusty grinder, buffing wheel, and we're just going to take off all these little tacks over here, clean the top and prepare for the lid.
Now it's clean. Now let's start with the lid. Okay, so I ended up pulling out that piece of angle iron from the corner over there. And uh, it's giving us a pretty good square. Uh, I marked it up. I'm just going to cut this side, this side off, and it should make a good lid. Okay, so the lid is made. It's nice and cut. I've got a little corner that was basically from that angle that I cut that was missing. I couldn't get it any tighter. So I'm just going to add a little piece to that and clean it up. You won't even see it. So I bought uh, just some run-of-the-mill hinges. My local supplier doesn't have anything that's weld on. I really don't care. This is for my toolbox. But uh, they're kind of heavy duty. They're, they're a little thicker. They do have a finish on them. I'm gonna grind that off. And uh, this way I could get a nice weld on it. But basically this is what it's gonna look like. Okay? So let's go ahead and clean these hinges up. Okay, so I just grinded off the uh, surface finish and now we're going to uh, weld these bad boys on. Well, that's what it looks like. I'm going to clean it up. And there you have it. They're nice and clean, welded. Now we're going to look at where we're going to mount this bad boy. So let's go outside and let's have a look at the flatbed. As far as the box goes, I'm thinking either putting it on this side underneath 
or on the other side where the generator is only for the convenience that it's closer to the generator and I don't have to go around the truck to open up the box but if it doesn't fit this is most likely where it's gonna go okay, so we decided that we're going to put the box over here this way it's close to the generator easy to access other equipment so we're gonna jack it up and mark I drilled some holes in the box uh, just on this side and then we're gonna mark the frame and we drill into the frame of the flatbed and do the same on that side okay so we managed to jack it up in the air and we put two clamps now we're gonna see we're gonna attempt to bolt it underneath bolt it. so we're gonna drill through the existing holes and we're gonna go through the first piece of uh, channel right here and we're just gonna bolt it and pinch it with two bolts and a lock washer but I'm also gonna give it a couple welds for extra security Okay, so we drilled out some pilot holes. Joe's gonna get in there and we're gonna drill right through it So these are our pilot holes right here And he's gonna go through that side Okay, and then we're gonna go through that side Got Vince in here with the Astro Glide Cool. You like Astro Glide? Yeah, I love Astro Glide. So we're just bolting it up, drill some holes on the inside and the back, and uh, we're going to secure it. There it is installed. Now we're going to put a lock on it. I'm going to have to do that in the next episode. We'll put a lock on it, and we're going to have to paint it. We forgot to paint it. So we're going to paint it while it's on the truck. Well, here it is finished. We welded the lock on it. I bolted it up to the truck. I ended up clear coating it right on the truck. I didn't bother trying to remove it because it's just too heavy. Um, it is like a 3 16 thick plate. It's what I had. The next toolbox I make, I'm gonna make it a little bit light gauge. But honestly guys, this box was uh, already paid for because it was a material that I used from another job and uh, this was free. So the only thing I have to finish on it if I want to is weather stripping and a little chain when I open and close it so it doesn't drop all the way down. But uh, that could come later. But this is what it looks like. So there you have it. Now I'm going to build a box on the other side. So I hope you like my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care guys.